Hey guys, it's 21 Maxwell here and welcome to the latest episode of the Schalke Showdown. The series which is running on YouTube at the moment, which is featuring myself and Toxic Lemon, both managing the Schalke up against each other to see who can win the Bundesliga title first. Which should be easy if we didn't have fucking Bayern Munich in our way. So, of course the usual guys, remember to go and check out Toxic's channel, the link will be in the description below, as well to be um, the link to his latest video. And yeah, just make sure that Disney win, basically. So, what have you missed since you last joined us? Well, quite a lot, actually. We have managed to secure the acquisition of Danilo from Real Madrid. Basically, when you see a right back of this quality, it was available for a cut price because he's transfer listed at that age. It's definitely someone you can bring in, play for maybe a season or two, and sell on for big, big money. And I feel uh, Junior Caracchia wasn't great. Yoshida was making small errors, which could be a little bit costly. And I feel, especially from an attacking sense, uh, for just an all-round good player, uh, Danilo was somebody we could bring in uh, and certainly do a job for us. So he'll be coming in. At the moment, there's no other ins and outs. It's mostly just being fixtures at the moment. So basically, we'll go to the old schedule. And you can see here, your last join this would have been the Werder Bremen game. We then played Atletico Madrid, unfortunately lost 1-0. Jackson Martinez scored the only goal. Babu Rahman had the silly red card, but at the end of the day, I'd kind of written off our Champions League hopes and just basically thought we'll just fought the group and just focus primarily just on the Bundesliga. Next up, take on Dusseldorf and the... Uh, I don't even know where I'm going with that. Dusseldorf side Cologne. Good result anyway. Christian Huntelaar back from that terrible, terrible injury opening the scoring. A goal from Frederick Sorensen from an own goal. The set-piece specialist Fede Catavia scoring and Max Meyer making it 4-0. We then took on Cologne in the German Cup second round. Completely rotated the team and had a similar kind of result. Florian Tauven opened the scoring early on before a goal from Marcos Asina. He would score a second later on to make it 4 after Pau or Pavel Olakalowski made it 3-0 uh, sorry. and then Adam Masachushi or however you pronounce that scored a late penalty but at the end of the day it puts through. Unfortunately, we drew Bayern the next round, so it was kind of fearing the worst, thinking we were literally just going to have to focus on the league. Next up was a massive trip to Dortmund, and we got very, very lucky. We won by one goal to nil, thanks to Mats Hummel's own goal. Rudiger gets sent off in the 94th minute. I'm just going to show you the Hummel's own goal, because it was just really something completely, utterly baffling. Also amazing that Rudiger was man of the match despite getting sent off, but it's basically a long ball put forward and that is literally what happens. A mistake there between, as if Huntelaar gets in the way between Weidenfeller and Hummels and that is the only game, uh, goal of the game. We had six shots, only two in target and thankfully we managed to hang on there for a, a great three points. We then lost 3-1 at home to, uh, sorry 3-1 in Madrid against Atletico. Ayose Perez with two great goals, Goretzka gave us an opportunity before Perez. I, I play a very strange um, set piece routine basically. We put 10 people up and leave, uh, sorry, 9 people up and leave one guy back and unfortunately we see they get caught and they punish us here. So it's just one of those things. So again the Champions League at this point we'd already like confirmed that we were going to be finishing further fourth so you know we just kind of thought after this we'll not really try in the Champions League. Hamburg were next to travel to take us on in Schalke. Tauven with opening goal and then two late goals, Huntelaar with a penalty. This will become a reoccurring theme over the next couple of games. And Benedict Howard is made it 3 0. Great win. Trip to Augsburg, absolutely terrible. We took the lead through Clash Jan Huntelaar. Noid Starter gives a great 2 0 lead at half time. You always get those former players that come back to haunt you. And Franco De Sano was that guy, scoring twice. And then Hong Jong Ho, 3 2, and just a it would have put us right close to Bayern and unfortunately on the day, disappointing. Next up was Siska in the Champions League. Good performance here. Tauvin with a double, Alcacer with a double and Junior Morales with two goals for Siska. But again, that kind of put us still fourth in the group, meaning we had to beat Stua in the last game. But then the game against Kaiserslautern, two silly mistakes. Clash and Huntelaar with two penalties. Ralph Farman get injured in the last minute when I had no subs left. So Huntelaar finished the game in goals. Then we had Bayern in that big massive game in the German Cup. Unfortunately, Ishida made another mistake from a set piece allowing Frank Ribery to slot it against uh, Ralph Farman. Huntelaar made it 1-1 before an unfortunate own goal from Benedict Howdy's 
made it 2-1 to Bayern and eliminating us. So literally now our focus is primarily on the league. Then travel to Wolfsburg, Clash and Huntelaar penalty. Yet again, Jonas Gies getting himself in the score sheet and Clash and Huntelaar puts 3-0 up within the first 26 minutes. Great performance for the boys. Like one of the better performances from Gies and Huntelaar just has been goals, a goal scoring machine since we brought him back in. Pretty much since the first 10 games, Chicharito has basically done nothing. So he's not even, he's lucky if he's coming off the bench because Huntelaar scoring. Uh, we're given obviously Rodrigo chances. Um, the young striker we brought in from um, Argentina, I can't remember his name, let me check his name again. Um, Astina has been doing the duty. So there's not been any games there for Chicharito. But we took on Stua in that last game. Um, Astina put his 1 0 up in 75 minutes, which would have seen us go and finish third. Thankfully, they scored right after it, and I decided to make no other changes. But as you can see from my lineup there, Fabiano starting, Ayan, Marilio, Chopper Mateen, Rifa, it was a complete B team to try and throw that match. And because we're to rest, did they? For Bayern at home. Good 2 0 win here. Noid starting, Drax are scoring in four minutes between the two goals. Thomas Muller sent off for a dirty, ridiculous two footed lunge on Kosnick. And um, yeah. What a victory, it was really needed, uh, got a bit of luck obviously with the red card, but it puts us in a prime position. So the league table, getting this game and a trip to Hertha, sees us just 2 points behind Bayern, 10 points clear to Dortmund, and we actually have a chance to go top if we can beat Hertha here, and we'll play right through until the evening game to see how Bayern do against Gladbach, see if we can actually leak the table going into the winter break. Teams already picked, it's pretty much the same team that played against Bayern in that great victory. Very strange formation, but it works. So it's Farman in goal, Nastasiewicz and Howdy's at the back. We've got Neudstadt as a halfback, Gies as a Regista, a complete wing back, so Kolznik and Yoshida. Goretzka is playing the deep line playmaker. Katabia playing again as the inside forward because Florian Tauven has a flu. Draxler on the left and Huntela as the target man. Plenty of goals on the bench there, Chicharito, Astina, and if we really need them, Florian Tauven. So we're going to get in this game, hopefully very positive, hopefully against a, a team that's just above the relegation zone. And hopefully, a game that can see us take three points and go to the top of the table, for probably the first time in the save. So we need to watch out here for definitely Salomon Kalou, Zivkovic behind the striker, um, and other guys, Skilberg, who used to be an FM mother kid back in the day. If you look at somebody on the bench, it's going to kind of try and do stuff and maybe cause some problems. Could be the, the man in the mission, Julian Shiva, or even Ben Hatira, because he, he's he can be very unpredictable. So, usual member of my coaching staff will do the team instructions, and we'll just say to the guys, if you can carry on for you finished off that last match, and every one of you guys has what it takes to make a difference here and make sure we end up winning this game. We'll see how they do. Only the front three weren't motivated, but if we can play the way we've been playing, I would, I'd like to feel confident we can go to these kind of places, grind out a result. I don't, we don't. We definitely don't dominate games like Toxic does, but you know we are getting results, and that's the main thing. And unlucky there from Carter, be a great free kick taker. Honestly, guys, if you need a set piece taker, he he is the man. He is absolutely unbelievable. You'll either hit the post, hit the bar. Or it's going in the back of the net and gives the keeper no chance. But it's always usually on target. And here's Zivkovic. To... Oh no, 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 get away, get away. Good save, Farman. I would have said who that wide man was, but I wasn't sure how to pronounce his name. But that was very lucky there. As you can see, not making many chances. Here's Cartavia. He goes, hits the bar again. Would I tell you? Every one of these free kicks will hit the bar or something. But it's Nastasic, the ex-Man City kid. But as I say, great free kick, and it's good to see our guys are following in. A bit of luck where it lands, but it could have been a number of many players that put that in the back of the net. And our big centre back nods at home and gives us a good lead here, one 0 Hopefully, we can get a second quickly and give us that little gap ahead of them. But here's Pekarik to Lazar Zivkovic. The problem is we don't have much pace like up front. It's more for the wings, and Zivkovic just hits it wide. But you know what I mean. We'll definitely encourage both fullbacks to bomb forward. That allows Draxler and Cartabia the chance to cut in and try and make something happen. Giving them a bit more freedom and caught, just causing their fullbacks um, a lot of problems. So hopefully, we've motivated Hunter Warbits up to getting Cartabia and Draxler. 
Pumper is interested in Bayern Munich and Draxler. But he's a 34 million release clause. I think if we get 34 million from him, I'm happy to let him go because I feel we can definitely sort the team out as Kalu equalises a free header there. It's very disappointing. So look at this in the replay. Lazar gets a wee bit of space, ball in. Defender just backs off from there and Kalu heads in, so that's not great. I think we we're going to make our first change about 60, 60 minutes of fuel, maybe make two changes. Yep, we're going to take off. Kozenek for uh, Baba Raman and Astina is going to come on for Huntala. I have no idea why, but Astina just seems to be performing much better as an impact sub than uh, Chicharito. Uh, and usually if he gets a chance, the kid usually takes it. I'm going to go overload. I think we may have left this too a little too late. And I'm going to take off Katabia for Tauvin. I, think the I like the system. I don't like changing away from the system too much. Now hopefully, just one last thing I want to do is maybe say to the guys just to calm down a little bit. But even if we do draw this, it would be our first draw of the season, so it's not a massive concern. But we would definitely go to games to either try and you know get something. Hello, how are these? He's put Ben Hatira in. Good save for the keeper. I'm going to say Ben Hatira could have been one of those guys that caused us problems. There's a problem with playing a high, playing a high line now and playing two at the back. It looks like it's going to be a draw here, unless we get a bit of luck in the last minute. Geese, Langkamp, Astina, Neustadt. And it's just going to break out to full time. Geese. Oh my fucking god, he hit the bar. Damn it. But it's a, it's a decent performance. You know, we have played a lot better, we have played a lot worse. And I'm just going to be negative against them, we'll try and motivate them. But overall, it puts us one point behind Bayern. But I'm just going to quickly continue on, and um, we'll fast forward through to the, the Saturday. Uh, we'll see how results go in the Bundesliga, and we can just really have a, a proper reflection and see how the, basically how the title race is going to look as we head into the second part of the season. Because literally, January can make or break whatever moves we do. Bayern went two one, so that's disappointing. Undoes all of last week's good work, but we can see it there. Bayern, four points clear with 17 games to go, so I think we need to probably go to, to Munich and beat them. We just need to be a lot really consistent because hopefully, hopefully Bayern can maybe lose a few games when they've got Champions League commitments. We're focusing just on the league now, and I think we're good enough and we're ahead of Dortmund that they shouldn't catch us. It's going to be interesting to see what we do, but I think there will be a lot of guys leaving. I think Chopper Matung might go, a few other guys might go. We'll maybe try and strengthen the middle of the park and maybe get a bit more creativity. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, really. Um, we just need to keep plugging away and hoping we can get the best results possible. Uh, a kinder start when we come back in, two home games. So I'm hoping for six points there. And hopefully we can real, really put Bayern under pressure when you have the difficult fixtures. So as always guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit uh, the like button. If you've got any comments on the series, on FM in general, even any thoughts on how you think FM16 is going to get down, let me know in the comments section below. Of course, check out Toxic's channel, links, etc. to his channel. His latest video will all be in the, in the description sorry, when available. So thank you as always, guys. Take it easy, and hopefully I'll see you next time for some more of the Schalke Showdown. Bye-bye.